Alright guys, welcome back to another Git tutorial and in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys the very basics of how to get up and started creating your very first Git project. Now before we start you know adding a bunch of files or doing anything like that we need to fill out our username and our email and it's basically Git's way of creating an account. So the reason that we need to do this is because whenever you're working on a Git project with a bunch of people you're all going to be making changes to the core project for example if you're all building a website you're going to have a programmer a web developer you know maybe a graphic artist all making changes to the same project so it's easier to sort things out and see who did what and uh, that's why everyone needs their own account so what do we need to do in order to make an account? Well, we need to uh, input our name and to get our email. So let's go ahead and add our name first. And this is how you do it. I'm in bash. I just open this and put git config. Now config is basically going to change the configuration file. And there's also another way to do this, but this is the easiest way. So we're basically saying we're going to configure some settings and in this case our name dash dash global now this is the only part that may confuse you global pretty much means the settings for this user now whenever you think global you may think the entire project and it is a kind of bad naming convention because in this case global just means this user so uh... i don't know you have to yell at git for that not me so git config dash dash global now to change our name put user dot name and add a space in between quotation marks just put your name and mine is Bucky Roberts so again git config global username this pretty much means configure my settings change my username to Bucky Roberts hit enter and my name is now Bucky Roberts now I said the only other thing we need to do is we need to change our email so this is gonna look really familiar git config global user dot email and my email is bucky at pornhub dot gov so you know of course I'm using a fake email here because I don't want everyone spamming my inbox but hit enter and now my email is bucky at pornhub.gov now if you want to go ahead and make sure that your settings is, oh got a freaking turd in my throat your settings saved and everything is good to go put git config dash dash list and hit enter and this is pretty much gonna list all of your settings so we didn't uh, change any of these yet so don't worry but at the bottom you see the username equals bucky roberts and the user email equals bucky at pornhub dot gov and by the way you see how uh... you know i'm getting kind of a lot of things on the screen here if you ever want to just erase everything not like uh, undo what you just did but pretty much just clear the screen just type clear and hit enter and all those settings are saved this pretty much just uh... deletes all the text and give you a nice clean screen now i showed you guys how to get config dash dash list and this lists all of the settings but if you only want to view one then you can do something like this git config user dot email and hit enter and that pops up just that user email so that's how you look at all the settings and also how to view one setting so you know pretty simple so far we now have an account created we now can pretty much start a project now actually before I uh, before you guys watch the next tutorial and uh, learn how to actually create a folder and start, start a project and all that good stuff I want to mention this even though hopefully you guys are gonna keep watching these tutorials and learning from me if you ever uh, come across something that you don't quite understand if you type get help kinda sounds like you know I wanna get help and hit enter it's gonna give you this big help menu and these are all the topics that if you type one of those in you can get more information on so let's say that uh... you want to do this you want to learn more about this commit little command right here 
So what you can do is you can type git help commit and hit enter and it says launching default browser to display HTML and even though you guys didn't see it let me make this my computer just popped up this little page right here and what it did is it opened the commit help page so you can learn about commit and depending on what default browser you have mine's Chrome hopefully yours is too then uh, it'll pop up the help section for whatever you typed so again that's get help and if you want help on a specific topic get help in the name of that topic alright ladies so we figured out how to change our username we figured out how to change our email we are now good to go so in the next video we're gonna be starting our very first project it's gonna be awesome so I'll see you then